News opens its fashion vaults to the most important, influential, and trend-setting designers of the last 30 years. Designer Marathon brings you a unique chronicle of the milestone moments, the landmark collections, the exhibitions, the favorite models, and the creative process behind every designer's career. From the first to the last, from the shocking to the classic, follow the evolution of the world's top designers from rising star to fashion icon. It's all here in the vault, a retro spectacular timeline, a designer marathon. The iconic Diane von Furstenberg printed wrap dress is unique in its simplicity and the favors that it does for most women's figures and their lifestyles. But Diane von Furstenberg's own story is what makes her an icon today. You know, the first time around I worked because I wanted to be independent. I mean, that was my point. I wanted to be able to be independent, I had kids, to be able to pay for my kids and have the life and that was my goal. And I was very lucky because I had I managed to uh, achieve that very early on. Despite bearing the title of princess since her marriage to Prince Egon von Furstenberg at age 22, Diane is remarkable for the candor with which she speaks about all aspects of her life, both triumph and tragedy. Experience is a very valuable thing, and experience is, is not something that you can understand or explain because you can, you can only live it and feel it, and you can really only, really basically learn from your own experience. I mean, you know, you could tell people, but, but there's nothing like your own experience. As a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a designer, a businesswoman, and the newly elected president of the Council of Fashion Designers of America, Diane is a woman with a story that resonates. As I get older now, my brand gets younger. It's younger, younger women who are excited by the brand and like it. And that, to me, is really satisfying. And what is also satisfying to me is that I am able to, with my knowledge and what I know how to do, make women feel more confident. And that, I love that. It's really fun. This is a major déjà vu. And uh, it's like 20 years later doing almost the same thing with almost the same dress. Diane von Furstenberg epitomized glamour in the 70s. Now she's bringing back the dress that made her famous. It's a combination of the fact that it clings and it's slid up the side so you can show some leg and also you have this pattern sort of distracting from any like little bulge or anything. So it's a, it's a very well designed dress. I mean, it's a thoughtful piece of design on top of the fact it's, it's shape. Everybody has a story. It's just like where were you when Kennedy died? Everybody has a story. And somehow it's always a little bit sentimental. When I was divorced, and, and I am divorced still, and whenever I had a date, if I wanted to wear something that was really knockout, that was very figureful, so I'd always wear them. So I used to cover the charity balls uh, for a magazine. I didn't have to, to wear a long evening gown at some, of the, uh, at some of the luncheons and so on. So I would just wear this. In a cross-country department store world, Diane, now joined by her stylish daughter-in-law, Alex, asked customers to bring back their favorite old dresses. Museums started to ask me for dresses, the old, and I had none. So I started asking around, say, you know, we'll buy them back, and so that's how it all started. If we don't have that print, that vintage print, in our archives, then we generally ask if we can Xerox it or if you know if they want to sell it to us, which became a 200 outfit archive at the DVF studio. This was a leopard print. This was actually an like, acrylic because it was for the winter, so. And this was a front wrap, back wrap. It, it, you could wear it both ways, and uh, although not everybody knew that. This is the shirt dress, that's the one I had on Newsweek cover. I had it in green and white. Even though everybody thought it was a wrap, it wasn't a wrap, it was a shirt. But they're fun, they're fun to have. And some are, the prints are really good, and some are just not. This is a typical kind of DVF. This two was, piece. This is like a long skirt and a wrap. 
But again, you know, it's 2 a.m. I and the proportion is just, it's just really awkward. And there was a, a phenomenon in fashion that made those dresses in the 70s kind of thing very much back in fashion. And uh, so there was a demand for that. And I thought, well, maybe that's the way to go back into fashion again. I never thought I would get into fashion. I wasn't particularly interested in fashion. This is our design studio here. We view prints and designs and go over the silhouette. So this is how it starts, you see, from colors into fabric. And print. And into sketches, yeah. So you could see all the different ways. They're just like little ice creams that you can choose from. <laughs> These are, for example, you know, some of the fabrics that we have designed and that we've used for you know, starting in September into May 98, more or less. And uh, these are the knits and these are the woven. The ballerina is a, a zzz, this. It doesn't have a collar and it's A-line and no cuffs on the sleeves. That's the ballerina. And then the classic wrap has cuff, collar and is a straight skirt. The thing about these clothes is, is they it? look ten times better on the body mm. than um, a hanger doesn't do it justice. Right. But that wasn't a problem when Diane presented the line for the first time in her new showroom. They were wearing different variations of wraps. We had two-piece wraps, back wraps, uh, halter wrap, jumpsuit wrap, the classic wrap, ballerina wrap, and it's just we just wanted to show different ways that. Uh, the wrap could be worn on a body. We changed the fabric from the fabric that it was back in the 70s, from a cotton blend to a silk jersey. The whole idea about it is like it should go with blend in your skin, you know? It should be like a second skin. They and don't pop out and scream at you and become such a loud, obnoxious print. What is a wrap? You know, it's basically a dress that has no button, no zip. In her third season since the revival of the wrap dress, Diane von Furstenberg presented a collection based on themes for the different sides of a woman, surrealism, romanticism, and bohemian. What I wanted to do, rather than having a fashion show, is to do these vignettes, which were, and just have a representation of the collection with the moods that uh, uh, inspired them. We're introducing a very new line for us. We have a lot of separates, a lot of twin set sweatering that we're doing that is made out of a stretch silk, where we have print on print, so you can actually wear the twin sets with the jersey dresses as well. I mean, for me, dresses is always a must. You know, feel like a woman, wear a dress. But it's not just dresses, now it's also separates, the little tops, the little skirts, the little bottom. We've been working with Diane on these three different uh, groups to make like uh, an evolution on the season. The surrealistic is because black and white is so important and the cool color, the pale pink and the pale blue, but the very cool, cold ones. Our second group is Midsummer's Night Dream, so it's more romantic, very flowy, like chiffon and, and just a very like girly spring, the perfect time to wear a dress. And then later we have the full caravan, which is the silk road, the spices, the richness, the abundance, and therefore also the colors which are like burnt oranges and things like that. We are women, we want to show it, but in a very thoughtful way. There is no aggressivity in the color, there is no aggressivity in the shape, nothing is too tight, everything is loose. Everything is about uh, uh, being sweet and being a woman. And so even though the dresses look so easy and so effortless, they have the details of the old-fashioned dressmaking and the draping and the bias and all of that. So I think it's a very nice combination. I would depict it as just a little sassy, feminine, romantic with a bit of a, a 90s edge.
stage at Diane von Furstenberg, Diane herself was the inspiration for both makeup and hair. So it's kind of a, um, a modern von Furstenberg. But she was the inspiration for the collection because she has that mad, crazy, beautiful hair, which she always tames. And we're going to make a mess of it. She's kind of a party girl. She's been out dancing all night. So she's kind of, she's a little tan, a little shiny, a little flushed from staying up and having a good time. Well, right now we've, we've all been working for, oh God, for a week nonstop. And now it's just about to come. The models have arrived and the hair is being done and the makeup and, and dressing is getting done and, and the seating and everything else. And uh, very, very soon, like six months of work will evaporate in 15 minutes of show. For her spring show, Diane was in a New York state of mind. It's very exciting. We have, this time it's not just dresses, but it's a lot of sportswear, a lot of pants. That's why I'm wearing a pant. It's spring, and so spring is always, for me, a very important season. It's about individuality, it's about freedom, and it's about confidence. We are only showing 60 pieces, but the collection is 600 pieces. The clothes that I make are clothes that every woman can express her own individuality. There's so many colors and so many prints and so many pieces so that you can really, it's like going in front of a great buffet and, and choosing your own plate. And everybody's really eating the same food and yet everyone has a different way to show it. There's something like sexy and feminine about what she, she does and I think a little bit of it is, is that in America our clothes are quite European but in Europe we're quite American so it's, it's a kind of a double-sided coin. The thing is that I have all these great hip people working with me and all these young designers and they're all so talented and we also work so hard and we do all these things but yet all of them insisted that because it seems to be the hit thing that we actually have in the show the original wrap dress. And this is the original wrap dress, but not only is it the original style, it's also the original print. For me, it's like a, re a rerun, but um, for everyone else here, it's really fun and exciting. We have a big surprise tonight, which is men's shirt. At the end of the show and the finale, the girls will come, and they will each come with their boyfriend, and they have wearing these great printed shirts, and that's going to be fun. As the movie stars and celebrities poured into Diane von Furstenberg's downtown studio, the models backstage were printed in fall's new colors. I'm doing very um, smoky eyes with the grape tone color, very strong, and I give her also um, sheer lipstick, which is also a grape color. I add the, uh, also a glitter, the gold glitter. The attitude of the hair is to make sure that the, the girls look chic, sophisticated, but yet uh, bohemian chic, uh, loose in a loose manner, the hair some, some hair up with a ponytail and a little updo, but very uh, tied up just very softly, so some hair coming out. It's an elegant, young, modern. Young, modern elegance also played out on the Diane von Furstenberg runway. This collection is called Crosstown Traffic, and actually, in a way, it's a celebration of New York. And it's not, you know, uptown versus downtown, it's Crosstown, because New York is, I think, Crosstown of the world. It's where everybody gets inspired, and it's where people come to make their dream, to turn their dreams into action. And so these clothes, these clothes are a thing about street smart and sophistication, and somehow they merge.
it's about the woman who comes to New York to make it. And so it's about street smart clothes. It has the, you know, like the graffiti print, but yet the sophistication of, uh, you know, you take corduroy, but you make a ball gown into talk corduroy. So it's the combination of, of that. We do so many prints, we do about seven prints a month. But the graffiti uh, print is a little bit of a departure. We went to somebody who does graffiti on the walls and on motorcycles and on body, and uh, we asked him to do something. So he took little pieces of my face and this little piece of, uh, of fabrics and, and kind of combined it all together. What we wanted to show was crosstown traffic in the sense that I think Diane explained it to me and how we talked about it. Images of the woman on the go and images of uh, the woman in the evening and uptown and downtown and all around town. And then we have the very much more traditional, you know, prints that come from old document and, and that all of a sudden look modern again. Crosstown traffic could not have been more feminine. It's always celebration of women because a woman is a woman and part of fashion is that we should enjoy being a woman and go for it all the way. Decades designing, Diane von Furstenberg continues to deliver the clothes that women want. From the front row to backstage, everyone is a fan of Diane's. She's an amazing woman. She's beautiful. She's a great designer. And she's so nice. She's such a great mother, a great grandmother. We've spent Christmas with her. We've been with her in L.A. at her and Barry's home. I mean, they're just so nice and family oriented, and it shows in her clothing. I have been a friend and a fan of Diane's DVF for the last 25, almost 30 years. I did her, I was, she gave me a break when I started as the world's first supermodel. We took this collection as a fairy tale. And uh, so imagine that winter is over and the, the, the snow is melting and it's like Snow White wakes up. And so all the colors are nude and black and pink and, and red. And then imagine that she goes into the woods and it's almost like a turner, it's misty. So it's leaves and beiges with little touches of orange. In terms of the shapes, is a little bit West Side Story meets Elvis meets Italian diva. So there's a little 50s influence, but it's, it's modern. Keeping up with the times and needs of women today, Von Furstenberg expanded her line this season. First I started with dresses, so for me it was, it was a little more difficult to go into pants. So I thought, all right, we'll create every top for every pants. And now this time we have pants too. Being in touch with the lady she dresses is very important to Diane. Within her own family, she finds inspiration. It's very much about a new lady. The new lady who loves to be a woman and who loves the playfulness about being a woman. She never stopped in one place, which I think is something people tend to do if they have a big success. They kind of just stop at that time, and she clearly hasn't. So I think it's great. I lived an American dream. I came in really young and I lived this American dream and in no time at all I was dressing every woman in the country. As creator of the iconic rap dress at age 28, Diane von Furstenberg has lived the American dream for over three decades. Today, von Furstenberg focuses on designing for a whole new generation of women. Right now we are editing the line for tomorrow's fashion show and I can I have 500 samples. I could I could present it in so many ways and it could look so different. No, you look cool. You look cool. I think that there is a very Diane von Furstenberg look that isn't just a wrap dress, it's all about a whole wardrobe, it's a whole way to wear clothes. It's terrible when you see and this is fat and this is fat. Well then she if she's gonna like... walk with her arms like this, maybe we should um, maybe we should take all of this out if we can. 
because yeah. I think that it's better to get yeah. it kosher, kosher. Yeah. This I love. I love the. I love this curry. Prints and color are very important to Diane. Oh, it's beautiful in brown. I always base the show around um, some element of Diane's life. I always say that I wanted to have a man's life in a woman's body. And so it, the whole collection is based a little bit on that. So it's a little bit of a James Bond inspired. This woman is not James Bond girlfriend. She is James Bond. The James Bond character was always a man that was so put together and never a hair out of place. He was just so perfect. We just wanted a, a collection that was basically all of that, that she could just have everything out of this collection, pack a suitcase, and, and have that whole look. The reason that Diane has been able to translate herself, reinvent herself, rejuvenate herself, and like go into such broad collections is because of Diane the person, because she's a mother, she's a daughter, she's a grandmother, she's a wife, she's an aspect of your life, and you know what she wants. And Diane just has that gift. She just knows what women want, and she gives it to them in her own way. She's had this very rich and diverse life, and it's about drawing inspiration from that and a look from that. It's a little bit more clean and slick, and it's that part of Diane's life when she was just becoming to become a really successful businesswoman. So it's the empowerment of the woman, and it's uh, the little suits and the little jackets, but yet with a little chiffon dress underneath. It's very much, aha, uh -huh, I, I borrow from men what I like, the jackets and, and, and some, some secrets of the tailoring, but it's all in soft fabric, and I'm a woman, and I'm enjoying my curves. Because we offer so many prints and so many colorways and so many things, there's so many. I like to think that my clothes are ac accessories to the woman's lifestyle. Her vision is amazing because she really understands what a woman wants. And it's very much about comfort, ease, but also style. And I think you can definitely see it in her fashion. Design is also about problem solving. It's not just about the hype of a fashion show. It's about problem solving for women who have wardrobe questions for themselves. And she always offers answers to the question for the season. Actually, when I first started, I designed for the woman that I wanted to become. And I became that woman. And a lot of other women became that woman also. Now I'm working and dressing for a whole new generation. It's called In the Mood, and it's really in the mood for life. It's a celebration of ha life, and it's a, always a celebration of the woman and the happiness and the joie de vivre. The inspiration started when I designed a dress for Venus Williams, and uh, we looked into the old pictures of the, when the women started to play tennis, and they threw their corset and they were free. So it's a little bit Gatsby, Tamara de Lampica inspired. show you four different groups. The first group is called In Between the Sheets and it's a, it has a boudoir influence. That's what I'm wearing. The second group is very green and white and it is sporting life and tennis and that kind of thing. The third group is on the yacht, so it's very navy and white and very glamorous, Marlene Dietrich on the yacht. And the 
fourth group is called A Summer of a Thousand Parties, and it's really kind of very Gatsby and fun and colorful. She's found a way to make everybody look great and comfortable, so that's two big things right there. My collection is always about colors, because that's what I do is colors. It's always very light, it always looks very effortless, and it's really important because I think that real style has to look effortless. suspects of famous family and friends filled the venue, backstage Diane von Furstenberg and her hair and makeup team conjured up a look of sexy self-confidence, modeled after Diane herself. This is a, an interesting look because every show has a story and this story here is about actually a girl that is actually Diane. It's about her. It's the girl that travels very well, that uh, you know, has great allure, great style. She's, uh, she's beautiful. She knows it. She's a little bit uh, wild and savage, savage, but you know she has beautiful hair. A lot of curls, waves, if you will. It's uh, undone, but it's uh, it's glamorous. It's a uh, it's not it's not fashion by the book, but it's a uh, it's a little bit uh, uh, an influence and interpretation of it. But it looks glamorous, it's sexy. The look is actually called in the nude, and it is very sexy, very sheer. It's really about skin about glow and sheer washes of color. It's very balanced. We're actually doing the eye, the cheek, and the lip with an actual cheek stick just smeared on. Yeah, it's really fabulous. It's one of the few times I've ever worked on a runway show where you could literally translate it directly to everyday life. Any woman could wear it. Like her approach to fashion, Diane never got lost in the fantasy. She understood that women today need real clothes for real life, and that was exactly what her summer collection conveyed. The idea was to give her great clothes, real clothes. Today is the show is called Grand Tour, and you know Grand Tour was this you know in the in the 18th century the English women used to go and you know on cultural trips and things. So it's a modern Grand Tour, and it's uh, projected into today's life. It is very much celebrating the woman who is an adventurer and travels and is ready for anything, anywhere, and is curious. And one day she likes to go into the spice markets and then she could be in Africa. And that, it's that freedom. And what I'm doing is just giving her great clothes. She has such a gift for the the way you like to dream. It just seems to me that she loves women in a unique way. She loves women of all ages and all shapes and sizes. And you come here and you simply feel, you, you feel understood. I think the whole, what, what makes a woman most beautiful is if she is confident. So my role is to give her clothes that are confident. I love this show. I thought it was one of the best collection. And uh, the cut of the dresses were beautiful. It was so sexy. I love very much like it was this kind of shirt dress and very uh, flirtatious and uh, feminine. Beautiful show. Love it. The whole idea is that, oh, these are clothes I want. It's fluid and it's elegant and it's effortless. by the media. Celebrity friends and family titans also caused the stir, a testament to the power von Furstenberg made. Well, it's very nice and it's very flattering. It was only natural that 
Diane turned to heroines of Russian literature for inspiration. It was the captivating Laura that Dr. Zhivago couldn't resist, and Diane herself possesses the same alluring charm. Maybe the tragic Anna Karenina would have found some solace in such a reassuring wardrobe. Titled The Winter Palace, the snowy landscape of the Russian Revolution was the backdrop for Diane's collection. The Winter Palace is inspired by the heroine of Russian literature, especially Lara from Dr. Zhivago, and celebrate her fragility and her strength at the same time. Diane van Furstenberg, her father is Russian, and so she's been very influenced by Russia and also by the um, the former states of the Soviet Union, like Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. So, and that's very full of folkloric inspiration. What I love so much about those Russian heroines is that they were, they were so strong and fragile and they went through all different moments, you know, revolution and this and that, and somehow they always look beautiful. You know, my brand, so, uh, you know, I always designed for the woman that I used to be and then the woman I wanted to become, and uh, so it's always a little bit of me. That's what it is about DVF that makes her so incredible. It's her ability to dress the youngest people and her ability to dress the oldest people and the ability to just be herself. created a situation that is true to herself, which is rare. I think other designers try and do the same, but I think it's rare that you actually have a woman designer actually really doing it, really wearing it. Basically, my role in fashion is to make the woman feel confident. That's what I do. That's what my clothes do. They make you, they make the woman feel a little bit more confident. And if you are a little bit more confident, you look better. It was hard to comprehend the ambulance heading to Diane von Furstenberg studio. Earlier, celebrity guests and the designer herself were celebrating the unveiling of the summer collection. Beverly, straight ahead. Beverly. move quickly came to a halt seconds into the show's finale when a lighting grid crashed down on the fashion insiders. It was really terrifying. I, it made such a noise when it hit the top of my head. I really thought I was going to die. I really did. The incident couldn't make for a good review. Oh no, no, I've done my review already. <laughs> And I thought the show was fabulous. I thought it was one of the best collections she's done. I really, really enjoyed it. Prior to the drama, Diane von Furstenberg was living the sweet life and making it accessible to all women this summer. La Dolce Diva is, uh, of course, a take on La Dolce Vita. It's, um, but it's also a woman feels like a diva. In order to feel like a diva, one has to have the makeup and hair worthy of the lofty title. It's called Dolce Diva here, of course for Diane, and uh, it's so uh, her, it's so perfect for her, you know, and it's a, a look that uh, is very uh, much a, a replica of the 60s. We're going to see the hair top very high, like that, very, very high, and then the back is a chignon, uh, 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 very sleek. The look is a very, very polished look. We, we're taking the inspiration um, back from the days where the movie stars and celebrities just started to like become movie stars and celebrities. So from the 60s, and especially influenced by the Italian movie stars, so Sophia Loren and Maria Callas, exactly, but not so over the top. 
It's a very Mediterranean, you know, it's very much Rome. Uh, Rome at the very end of the 60s when uh, I discovered personally glamour for the first time and I saw all these movie stars and all these elegant women. I love her clothes, I'm wearing her dress. I mean it's so great to wear, it feels so feminine and uh, it just uh, makes you feel like a woman so I love that. And she's a great woman designing for other women. It's like her, you know, it's inherently sophisticated, completely accessible, and totally smart. It's so feminine, it's, you know, you, the dresses just look great on your figure, and she knows how to dress a woman. She makes a woman really feel beautiful and original, too. The collection is very neat. Um, it's a little cleaner, maybe. It's bold. Always fun and funky, and her stuff is so comfortable that you can wear it as high fashion, and you can also wear it to like just dinner with your parents. It's really so versatile and wonderful. I think she makes it really wearable and affordable, which is very unusual these days. And she doesn't seem to be out to gouge the public at large. And it's really nice because people can find something really pretty to wear that you know doesn't destroy their bank account. So it's really cool. I think women want to look beautiful, but I think women want to be beautiful in their own way. They want clothes that adapt with their personality, which is what I try to give them. Clothes that are not too, too expensive, which is also what I try to give them. And uh, elegant and, and fun. the unfortunate accident at last season's show behind her, Diane von Furstenberg prepared to present her collection in the safety of the tents at Bryant Park for the very first time. I was uh, shy about coming here, you know, but I guess maybe, maybe I graduated. We're doing a very, very 40s inspired look with a beautiful, beautiful red lip, strong, vivid lip, a flush cheek, cheek in an iridescent pink on the apples of the cheek, and then a wet eye to complement the bold lip. It's very 40s inspired, inspired from the working girls, very, very strong, independent women. The working girl is a woman that has great style because she can afford it. And, uh, and, uh, and what, what it does is that it's a look that is uh, um, uh, very stylish, very sophisticated, but yet it's a look that is not too well done. This is more like a look that is, uh, is more organic, much uh, easier to, to control and, uh, and also uh, uh, effortless. This season, Diane paid homage to those women on the 9 to 5 shift, an easy task for the most glamorous working woman in fashion. Am I? No, I don't think so. There's a lot of work, a very, very glamorous working women. I think, uh, you know, working girls are glamorous, aren't they? And uh, this, this collection is really to celebrate them. Diane von Furstenberg showed in the tents for the very, very first time. And I think it really kind of upped her game. The collection looked sleeker. It looked much more sort of fast paced, and fabulous. And I think with the kind of slick setting of the tents, her clothes just look that much more upbeat and amazing. I love Diane von Furstenberg's show because I thought it was just so her and very powerful and a little kitschy, her whole theme and everything, but I just thought it was great. We just really like the kind of idea of a, of a girl who's really free to do whatever she wants. You know, and Diane's a woman who's been a mother and a, a, a business tycoon and a princess and a grandmother. And she's lived a million different roles, but she's always been a working girl. So it felt like it was appropriate, really. There were so many really strong pieces. I mean, it was kind of that sort of 40s by way of 80s feeling. 
which Diane, having lived through it once, can do really well. But I thought there was, I mean, what's great is there's just really functional clothes in there. I mean, great pants, great skirts. I mean, it's, it's a great work look. Remembering that Diane's price points are actually pretty affordable, it's, it's actually an, an amazing wardrobe for, for a young, urban woman. There is very much an influence of Native American and, uh, uh, the, you know, it's exaggerated houndstooth and, and, uh, and the Navajo and things I, I, I found there. And then, the, and then also very, a little bit more classic, men's wear interpreted for women. It's just a matter of, you know, celebrating the individuality of women. And at the end, uh, as a designer, what I feel I am is I give them the accessories to their own beauty and to their own individuality. Diane von Furstenberg's show at Bryant Park in New York City was filled with celebrity fans and influential family. The hot pink apple scenery and a plethora of young models backstage gave a hint of what was to come. For this new show, which is all about renewal and spring, to use very young, fresh girls. It's not so much that they are young, but it's they're fresh. And I told them not to wear makeup and just a little bit of pink lipstick so that they have a little bit of sin which is what Eve is about. And of course with woman, she took the bite of the apple and there was some sin, hence the neon hot pink lip. Very, very simple, shiny, beautiful, fresh skin, almost as if they came here out of the shower. The birth of a young girl. So it's all about hair that is fresh, a um, uh, lot of body and, and natural, and nothing, just a natural, very natural shine. Roll. This is a beautiful girl just come out of nature. Actually, I'm really excited. Like, I love Diane von Furstenberg's clothes, and this is my first show ever, so it's kind of special. I'm really happy. All About Eve is really a, a celebration of the two things that inspire me the most, nature and women. If you imagine the world at the beginning, first there was light, then there were the shadows, then came the leaves, then came the snakes and the frogs, the butterflies and the ladybirds, and then came women. And that's a little bit the story I'm trying to tell today. I'm a fan and a friend. I've worn her for very many years. I've heard her name since probably many, many years ago. Um, I just think she's a fabulous designer. I think she's uh, she's always kept her chicness, her look, her dress, and made it her own. And and uh, and she's branched off of that so well, but she still kept who she is. Fashion is, is, is very mysterious. All of a sudden, the attitude is a little looser. The silhouettes are looser and more tenty, and uh, of course, it's much shorter. Everything is shorter, and some of the mini people can wear with pants, but then, of course, when you, when you ship them, they're not so short. The fit is so good, and she, used modern, she uses modern prints, modern fabrics, she changes it up. This, for example, is ginkgo leaf, and I don't know if you know, but the ginkgo tree is uh, the first tree in the planet, and after Hiroshima, it was the first one to grow again. So for me, it's all about renewal. In New York, Diane von Furstenberg, the newly anointed CFDA president, dealt with the presentation of her winter collection and didn't stress over the extra work that comes with her new title. Well, I am very humbled and very proud of being the president of the CFDA and represent 300 designers. It's fun, actually. It's going to be fun.
and the fun began as beauty teams got to work. It's a DVF girl, you know, the DVF girl that is a, the girl that um, has great style, that travels around the world. She loves fashion, she loves beauty, but um, she's expressing it in her own way. You know, you always write something for the models and you always want them to be beautiful. So this time I wrote, being a woman is a joy, being strong is a duty, enjoy it all, because I think that the beauty really comes from within. The eclectic, celebrity-packed front row was a testament to Diane's talent as well as her temperament. She's TVF, I mean, she's amazing. She has never been as strong or creative uh, in her work as she is now. I know very little about clothes, but I know talent when I see it, and she's a remarkable talent. La Movida because it has a Spanish influence and a Spanish landscape of, uh, you know, Gaudi and Goya and of course then Almodovar and Almodovar brought to La Movida which is the movement that happened after Franco and which was a movement of freedom. Of course movement is also something that I celebrate in clothes because my clothes always move. Collection is a little bit more polished than usually and, and a little stricter, so it, it's not necessarily quite as flowy as before, but it's always comfortable. And most of it is really jersey, even, even the, the, the dresses that are more constructed, they have this beautiful new felt jersey that I love. It's what isn't about her clothes. She designs for women, She's she's everything is comfortable, but yet it's a very relaxed glamour. You want to be glamorous, but you also want to be comfortable, and you don't want to look like you try too hard, and I think that's pretty much what she does, you know? And her clothes go from day to night, which is kind of amazing. Not that many people can do that. My whole point is to celebrate the woman, and to flatter the woman, and have clothes move with her. to meet a woman who is not strong, but some women are afraid to show it.